Towards the end of the Mythbusters special on the Moon Hoax, Adam Savage and Jamie Hyman visited the Apache Point Observatory. The purpose of the visit was to prop up the Lunar Laser Retro Reflector Arrays as proof for man's alleged visit to the Moon. So what you're saying is that uh, we get a really big laser and point it at the reflector on the Moon and if we get a signal back that means that we were in fact there. Precisely. I am slewing the telescope to the lunar highlands. Slew away. Test number one. Shining our laser at a portion of the moon's surface devoid of all man-made objects, including retroreflectors, known to locals as the lunar highlands. There's the moon. You can see the craters. Wow. With the laser pointed at a random location on the moon's surface, Initiating laser. Dr. McMillan pulses 200 quadrillion photons into the night sky. So we're shining the laser on the lunar highlands now, and we're getting nothing back except background light. As expected, the lunar regolith, with its reflectivity index, or albedo, of approximately 8%, simply scatters the beam, and the sensors back here at the observatory detect no reflected light. Now I'm going to move to Apollo 15. Apollo 15, crewed by Scott, Irwin, and Warden, set down at the base of the lunar Apennine Mountains, which is where they placed the retro reflector. Wow. That's the location where Apollo 15 landed on the moon. That is so cool. Initiating laser on retro reflector from Apollo 15. And there's a spike beginning to stand out. Is that it? That's the return from Apollo 15. Light returning from the laser retro reflector at exactly the wavelength and distance that we were expecting. <laughs> that is so cool. I know you do this like a hundred times a year, but it's really thrilling to watch it happen in, in right in front of us. Not just thrilling, but conclusive. Look, I'd love to go to the moon, but I can't. At least not right now. So we did the next best thing. We shined that laser at the moon on the second test, and we got a clear spike back. Photons came back to our receptor. Now, the only way that that could happen is if there was a piece of man-made equipment up on the moon to reflect them back. So get over it. There's no conspiracy here. We've been there. We've done that. In response, I have pointed out that the Mythbusters are factually incorrect to say that it is impossible to bounce lasers off the moon's bare surface, because MIT and the Crimean Astrophysical Observatory both succeeded in bouncing lasers off the moon's bare surface long before Apollo 11. This is documented in both the December 1966 issue of National Geographic and the November 5th, 1963 printing of the New York Times. The passages in question are in the sidebar. In their response to my response, propagandists such as Phil Webb and Astro Brandt 2 have accused me of taking the Mythbusters out of context, claiming that the Mythbusters never said that it was impossible to bounce lasers off the moon's bare surface, that I made that up as a straw man. Did I? On July 9, 2010, I managed to meet up with Adam Savage at the amazing meeting held in Las Vegas. I questioned him about this. There's another question I wanted to ask you about. Yes. No, there's more of a correction or something like that. On the program, basically, when you were bouncing the lasers, you, were, you said that it was impossible to bounce them off the moon's bare surface, right? Yes. You said it's possible. Are you aware that um, in the 1962 and 1963, both MIT and the Crimean Astrophysical Observatory also did that? They bounced lasers off the moon's bare surface and received its, its signal back to it. They, were, they managed to, to detect it. Uh, I was not aware of that. You were not aware of that? Do you have any comments on why the guys at the Apache Point Observatory couldn't get the signal back? Yeah, well, uh, since I haven't met the guys from MIT who say that they were able to do it, I trust the guys from Apache that said they, it was not possible unless you had a retroflector on the surface of the moon. There you go. More proof than you could ever possibly ask for. A verification straight from the horse's mouth stating that he thought it was impossible to bounce lasers off the moon's bare surface. Hopefully, this will silence the false allegations by Astro Brandt 2 and Phil Webb that I took the Mythbusters out of context.